Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you stopped in for this video. Today's video is a collab with my two best girlfriends, Tara and Lauren. You will find both of their channels linked down below. Today's meal that I'm making for you, um, if you're new here, this is a collab that we show what being on WW Cooking for Two is like. So all three of us have significant others um, that are not on WW, and we just think it's important to show that you can stick to this plan, um, and it doesn't affect your significant other, basically. So today's meal that I'm cooking is a very light and fresh chicken dish. I don't really know what to call it, which I feel like is a theme for me. I'm gonna get better at titling recipes, but it just has a ton of really fresh ingredients, which is something I absolutely love, especially on a week that's just gross outside. For us in West Texas, it has been nonstop raining and dusty, dirty, and I just need some fresh ingredients in my life, you know? So, without further ado, let's chat about what is gonna go in this. So, of course, we're gonna have the chicken. We are going to grill that on the grill, and that is why I do not have it here, because Tyler is outside grilling. So, use your imagination, chicken on the grill. I will show you in a little bit what exactly I did to prep all of that, but we have the chicken, then come the veggies. We are going to do these little cherry tomatoes, which, Tyler absolutely loves, so I throw these in anytime that I get a chance to. We are going to do a red onion. If you've watched some of my videos before, you probably have noticed that I don't cook a lot with yellow or white onions. It's a total preference. I just love the way red onions taste. I think they're just a little sweeter. I don't know, it's totally preference, um, however, you, however you choose to do it. And then lastly, we have some asparagus. Asparagus is probably one of my favorite vegetables. I have absolutely no idea why. I didn't eat it very much growing up, but I just love it. I love it cooked on the grill. I love it cooked in the oven. Today we're gonna cook it um, in a skillet. We're gonna cut it up into chunks. And so I just love asparagus any which way I can get it. So then we also have the star of the show tonight, which is our barbecue sauce. I am obsessed with this. If you're on Weight Watchers, if you're not on Weight Watchers, you gotta buy it. I love it. I love how point friendly it is. So I um, am gonna use a cup of this. That's two points. Um, does it get any better than that? I don't think so. There's that. And then lastly, if you're anything like Tyler, and there's no judgment, but maybe you're just not the most adventurous when it comes to trying other foods. Let me introduce to you couscous. So, when Tyler and I first started dating, I don't really even remember what I made, but I remember it had couscous in it. And Tyler thought I had lost my mind, and also, I'm gonna make him say it on camera how he says it, because he does not say couscous. I can't remember how he says it, but it's a good time, and y'all need to see that. So, I don't really know what couscous is. It's like a grain situation. Um, I could probably read and find out, but it's a grain situation. My favorite flavor is toasted pine nut. I will say, I call it a grain. It's not like a rice, but it is like a rice, but it's not a rice. I do not like rice. I like cauliflower rice, but like not rice. Um, and I love this. So I will say it's a little point heavy, which is not the best, but um, you can have a fourth cup for four points. This dish is basically nothing. So I'm okay with a fourth a cup for four points. Um, especially if you plan your day accordingly. And you guys, it gives so much flavor. I cannot recommend this enough. So if you've never cooked with it, it's foolproof. You literally boil the water, put the packet in there, boil the packet, the seasonings, dump this in there, stir it up, let it sit. Like, you can't mess it up. So, I highly recommend couscous. <laughs> Let's get to marinating our chicken. Full disclosure, I'm not usually the one who does this, so I kind of just told Tyler to, you know, kind of roundabouts tell me what to do. Um, if you hear the mower outside, I highly apologize. I'm sure that's an obnoxious sound. Um, Tyler is mowing. So like I said, I've never done the chicken marinade situation before, so we're gonna wing it. I don't really, I think this is like to taste, like this is totally your personal preference, however you'd like to do it. The best part about this dish or just any dish in general that you cook with this much chicken or any meat that you're cooking, 
especially for two, this is obviously not one meal, this is multiples. And not only do I love that just for convenience factor, I like have to cook one time, but I love it for the budget factor of it. Um, it just cuts down on a ton of my grocery shopping, so I'm very much about that plan. And I don't know if Tyler flips these, but I feel like you're supposed to flip them, so that's what we're gonna do. I've said it before a couple of times in videos, people ask me all the time how I get Tyler to eat healthy, like quote unquote, eat what I'm eating. Um, don't freak out, I wash the cutting board. Um, I don't, I mean, I do because he eats what I'm eating, but like, it's not, I don't know. It's just like not a conversation with us. He, he makes modifications to something he doesn't like. Like if we're going to have pasta or something, I'll have spaghetti squash. Tyler will have like pasta pasta. But other than that, I don't feel like I've had to modify too, too much. Just in the sense of if we're going out to dinner for a date night or something, I can get fajitas if we're going to a Mexican restaurant or I don't know. I feel like if anything, like I'm the one that's made different choices. I don't, he could feel completely different, but like, I don't feel like this has affected him that much. <laughs> so I think he's doing just fine. Okay. Lastly, we are going to use, I don't know if this is focusing, the um, sugar-free barbecue hickory flavored in this barbecue sauce. I absolutely love this barbecue sauce. I have a whole cup poured out in here. I'm not sure how much it's gonna need. I don't know if I'll use the whole cup. Um, but you want it to be fairly generous so it can you know, really coat your chicken. And I just swish it around, make sure things are nice and coated. Again, I don't know if Tyler flips these when he does them, but like, I feel like it only makes sense to. Also this barbecue in and of itself, if like seasoning freaks you out or like stresses you out, I have a girlfriend who doesn't put seasoning on anything. She doesn't know what goes with what. Personally, I don't think garlic powder doesn't go with anything. So, you know, that's a good one to start with. Um, but yeah, we definitely did not use that whole cup. Um, but the best part about this um, branded barbecue sauce, not only is it super low on points, um, you don't have to add much flavor if you don't want to or if that's just like not your thing. Tyler and I are seasoned snobs. We have to season everything in life, so this is just how we do it. Alrighty, we're going to put that in the refrigerator. An hour would be ideal. I don't want to wait that long, <laughs> so it's going to be about 30 minutes for us, but an hour... An hour would do it for you. So like I mentioned, Tyler has everything out of the grill. Um, I marinated that chicken, gosh, 30 minutes, 20, 20 sounds better. Um, but it smells delicious. So I'm just going to chop up my veggies and add them all to this saucepan. I do have two tablespoons of, um, what is that? Um, olive oil cheese in the pan. You can of course omit that if you don't want to count the points or don't count the points if you don't count the points because I feel you. Most of the time, I really love my handy dandy onion chopper, the like dices things. But for this dish, I love onion if you have not gathered. But for this dish, I want them chunky. I want them to be in big pieces like this. So I leave them chunky. Truth be told, everything's better with a little chunk, but you know, personal preference. Okay. All the onion. Next, we are just going to chop this asparagus. I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but you can use or don't use whatever veggies, I'm not gonna use the stalks, 
whatever veggies are your favorite, these are mine. Um, and Tyler has to eat them, you know? I think these flavors go really well together. Um, so this is just what works for us, but you can certainly use whichever veggie combinations you like. Lastly, I'm gonna add the cherry tomatoes to the mixture. And how pretty is that color? You just have a little bit of everything. This is a really great time to add in any seasonings that you wish. I'm gonna put in pepper. I'm actually probably going to, just a little bit, put some Himalayan salt. And I'm probably gonna get some fresh garlic, minced garlic, um, and put that in there as well. So let's take this to the stove. This part of the veggie situation is kind of a preference as well. Um, if you love exact recipes, this probably is not for you um, because it really depends on how mushy or how done you want your vegetables. We like ours kind of medium, so it takes a while for this to all cook down, but the flavors get really combined and everything gets really juicy. So really there's not necessarily a time limit as far as how long this will be on the stove. It really just kind of is personal taste. So disregard the mess that is my kitchen table but how cute are these boys <sighs> chibi loves his soccer ball more than anything else in life Alrighty, everything is cooking away Tyler has the chicken outside on the grill I've got the veggies and the couscous behind me the veggies are definitely sizzling away. I can hear them. Um, but I had a thought and I really wanted to share it. Um, so this video, like I mentioned in the beginning, is part of a collab. Tara and Lauren are two of my very best friends. I met them at such an important part of life. We all live in very different locations now, which is the most depressing thing on the planet. Um, but we're in a group chat, we text every day, so I think it's important for y'all to know that we are actually friends in real life. We're not just um, some people that found each other on Instagram, which I think is great and very important too, but we have actually met in real life. We're not just strangers to each other. Um, but the thing that I really love about our collab is that the three of us, yes, we all three have significant others, but we're all in very much different stages. Tara is married um, to Steven with the sweetest baby you've ever seen in your whole life. He's just nothing but a butterball and I love him to death. Steven's the husband, not the baby. Ross is the baby. But, so she puts out meals and recipes that are very much catered to a mom who is cooking and trying to get laundry done and balancing Steven's schedule and you know, just those kinds of things. Lauren is in a very serious relationship as well. Hi, Morgan. Um, they don't live together, um, but they do cook together all the time. She cooks a ton of meals with him and for him, but her channel also has a ton of really great recipes. If you're just that single girl or guy living by themselves and you want to make a dish for one person because we've all been there, you don't want to cook a recipe that has six pounds of chicken breast, marinate that, and four quarts of barbecue sauce, you know, that's not, that's not where you're at in life. That's not what you're looking for. Um, so she has some really awesome recipes that can definitely be dwindled down as do all of us. Don't get me wrong, but that is something that I really love about her channel. Um, and something that when I was surfing channels, trying to find stuff, it was hard to find recipes when I was single and living by myself because everything was catered for like a 12 person family. So that is something that I absolutely really love about her channel. So if that is you, definitely go check it out. And I obviously love a Tyler. Um, I don't have a baby. I have a dog, but no babies. Um, but we cook meals that we both work. Um, we're on the go. We're trying to be budget conscious. And so that's kind of what I would like to think is my niche is something for 
the girl who's either cooking for herself or cooking for her family, but it's a small family and you're shopping on a budget because I hear ya. So I really hope this collab, We, yes, we are all three in relationships, but I think we kind of each bring something different to the table and that is something that I really love about it. So I hope you all enjoy it and you love it too and you stick around for much, much more because Tyler is just rolling away. So let's go take a peek. How's it going? Good. I'm trying to dodge the plants. Just, they look good. They just got done. They look so good. How is my marinating job? Really good. I get to keep it? You get to keep it on the, on the chicken. How much are you going to pay me? Not much. Oh. I'll give you a hug and a kiss. I'm more expensive than that. Yeah. I know. It looks good. Yeah. They're really moist. Nobody likes that word. <laughs> this is about where I like my veggies. You can kind of see, I don't really know if you can tell, but those onions have not necessarily caramelized, but they've just gotten a little soft and a little opaque. That's about where I like them. And then the cherry tomatoes, if you if you push on them, they'll pop, which is exactly what Tyler will want them. So, you just mix it up a little bit, keep stirring it. You don't want anything to stick, so you definitely need to keep stirring it every now and then. So, and then our couscous. If you've never had this before, like I said, it's super fluffy and so light. I did not add the, um, oh my goodness, why can I not olive oil for the love? I did not add any olive oil and it turned out just fine. So if you're counting the olive oil points, save your points because it's fine. But so fluffy. What do you think? It's really good. You like it? I do. What do you think about the couscous? I like couscous. Oh, is that how you More. say it now? How do you used to say it? Not like that. Cusco? Oh yeah, Cusco. Mm -hmm. I thought the S was silent. Mm -hmm. you know. As many are. <laughs> yeah, there's, there are some that are silent. Like are Cusco. there? Yeah. yeah. I'm more of a rice kind of person, you know, but mm -hmm. I guess I can deal with Cusco. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just so glad. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this meal club. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check out Tara and Lauren's channel. Like I mentioned, they will be linked down below. This dish for us came out well for me came out um, to four points total. So it's a really great way to just kind of say goodbye to summer, get ready for all those crock pot recipes. It's a super fresh, super light dish. Um, and it's one of our summer favorites. So I hope you guys enjoy it.